Is Labour now a Remain party? Well, our policy is that, um, that anything that this government comes forward with, particularly if they're going to come forward with is no deal, we are yeah. going to, we're, we're going to ask for, a, for there to be a public vote, we're going to ask for Remain to be on the ballot paper, and we're going to campaign to Remain. So, so that, that that's sounds a pretty that, Remain to me. That's a flow chart. I, I ask again, is Labour now a Remain party well, under all told circumstances? You. So, Ed Davies so, says, no, you're not, because you go into the next election committed to a Labour Brexit. No, we're not. You're not, just, you're not going to go that's into that's the next just, election. Uh, that's just, uh, can I just, like, let's just squash all of this. Our policy is that anything that this government comes forward with, or indeed any government comes forward with, we wish to put it back to the people we want Remain to be on the ballot paper and we will campaign to Remain. That's our policy. Now, the trade unions have a different no, policy. I, I understand that. And people are getting that confused. Okay. And Ed Davey I'm perhaps not, doesn't I'm, understand. I'm not that and he thinks that Part B is, is, is Labour's policy. It's not. So at the next election, there are no circumstances in which Labour will be campaigning for Brexit. I don't know what's going to be in our next manifesto, if that's what you're asking me. But if you've just said what you've just said, I'm that just, must follow. Yeah, well, I understand. I understand. I understand. I'm telling you what our policy is. Mm. And then I have to tell you that I can't tell you what's happening in our next manifesto because that's the question people keep asking us. And I do okay. think it's not fair because no party can tell you what's in their next right. manifesto. Let's... And we're a big old Democratic Party with half a million members yeah, I... and we have to consult them and we will work out what our and, policy and your... is and what our manifesto will be okay. when the time comes. And your shift or your pivot this week was towards a referendum. Now, the problem with that is and that I'm there are not this afternoon at, at People's uh, Vote Rally. Uxbridge, I know that in a People's Vote Rally, yeah, exactly, which will be very great fun, I'm sure. But in the House of Commons, you don't have the votes for that, and that is the hard truth. Therefore, if the pivot to a referendum means anything at all, you need a general election to get there. And in that general election, Labour Party needs to put a referendum into its manifesto. Needs to, otherwise, it means nothing. Of course. So uh, the Labour Party will will, will go in, into the referendum, into the general election, with the referendum in its manifesto. I mean, I would have thought so, but I am not you just someone. Said yes. Who, I mean, I, I, yes, I get the logic. It's just that I'm just being a bit disciplined about this because I'm not Don't allowed. Be I'm not allowed yes. to write the manifesto. You know, the Tories may have a couple of clever boys who go into a yeah. back room and write their manifesto. We do it democratically. So I can tell you what okay. I would argue for, and I can tell you what I think is likely to be in the manifesto. Okay. But I can't tell you what will be in the manifesto because it isn't written yet, right, and we well, haven't got an election.